Welcome back into the Sonoma Stompers post-game show. Stop it on. I'm joined by our dual players of the game, Miles Williams, Ethan Gibbons. Guys, both had great performances today. Ethan, I'll start with you. Seven innings on the mound, three runs allowed. What was working well for you out there today? You know, uh, offense got an early lead for me, and, uh, you know, we never looked back. So, uh, you know, I think that that's key, you know, if, not only for me, but any starting pitcher. And, you know, you can just go out there and do your thing, you know, and not have to be too fine. So that was huge tonight. A big part of that offense was the man to my right, Miles Williams. Miles, a three-hit day, four driven in, but the big hit, the two-run home run of the first. Take me through that at bat. Uh, you know, like he said, it starts, well, first it starts off with him getting us out of the inning real, or that half inning real quick. Um, uh, I've been seeing the ball pretty well, even on the swings that I'm missing, so I just try and take, keep it as simple as possible, but it starts with Marcus having a good A-B. Um, he's real good in that one-hole spot. Uh, he sees a lot of pitches. He went 3-2, gets a good walk. Um, like I said, I just try and keep it as simple as possible. So let's just put a good swing on it. Ethan, how fun was it to see that bottom of the first and in the team force the Centerfell starter to throw over 40 pitches? So you were on the bench for a while, but I have to imagine all that offense was, was fun to watch from the dugout. Yeah, I'll sit there all day if we uh, keep scoring. You know, I don't mind at all. I'll keep myself warm. Um, but, yeah, that was huge. Um, it definitely fired me up. We, we get that uh, those few runs early, and, you know, I could just, just play my game. Your 12th home run of the season in the first inning, and it was your sixth in the number two position in the batting order. I know we've talked about it a little bit before, but you're feeling pretty comfortable there right now. Uh, like I said, you know, uh, Pace and I have a good relationship, and he said, I'm going to put you up there. And if I'm one through nine, I don't care where I'm at. But, uh, you know, up there I get to see a little bit more pitches, uh, so it makes me a little bit more patient uh, and just knowing the situations really. So uh, I like it a lot. Um, but if I'm one through nine, that's all that matters. It doesn't, I don't care. So. Ethan, another quality start for you today. Another seven inning performance, just a few runs allowed and over five strikeouts. Do you feel like you're settling into a groove this season at all? Yeah, I do. You know, I feel like I can get a little bit more confident with every single start. Um, so, yeah, it, you know, it, you find your mechanics, you know, and, uh, you know, it becomes a lot more fun out there. Miles, how much confidence do you have? Uh, or how much added confidence does the offense as a whole have coming to the plate when Ethan's on the mound and really dealing like that? Yeah, it's all about tempo, uh, you know, going, dating back uh, Dom as well. You know, it's, it's a, I love when he's on the mound because it's a lot of, a lot of tempo. I get a lot of, a few balls at right field because he throws so hard. So it's always good uh, to be active out there. Um, but it's all about the tempo. The, and like I said, this team is really, uh, we gel real well and uh, it doesn't matter if we're down nine runs or we're up nine runs we're still going to keep playing baseball because we're not playing a team we're playing baseball and just uh, we're doing the thing the right things the right way uh, and that starts with our managers and and our team uh, and people just taking pride in what they do mm -hmm.